everybody if you're new to my youtube channel hi my name is Odi and this is Odi TV thank you for coming to my youtube channel and since you're here just go on ahead and click the little subscribe button let me tell you something so last night I was like hmm, I should watch the next movie I'm going to review on this channel so yesterday night right I was up till like I think 2 a.m. watching Nigerian movies on Heroku there are three new movies on the Heroku website Haunted Secret, Bond, and Prenup. The Prenup. So I watched Haunted Secret first. This has like a 92% rating. So I now thought that, okay, maybe this one has potential. So let me be watching Brethren. Why is it that this movie, this movie was dragging? Like, this movie was dragging so hard, it was putting okra to shame. The cast include. Too sweet Annan and Chelsea Eze as the main two main characters. So they're a couple, they are, they've been married for like five years and they are having troubles conceiving a child. There, there's nothing wrong with them medically. Because of they've been married for five years and they haven't had any kids yet. Too sweet mother that we never met. Um now kept on pressuring him to marry a second wife. And one day she now con they now conceived, then she had a miscarriage. Then, you know, she said that thinking of her past and she now realized that it was probably because of she was mean to her grandmother the premise of this movie is not original obviously because we've seen something like this before a lot a lot in old both in old nollywood and sometimes in new nollywood so it's not even about the whole story of the or the whole premise of the story or anything it's the fact that this movie was just dragging for reasons unbeknownst to me i don't know like it could not capture my attention. Charles Yeze did a very good job, I'm not going to lie. And I was really, really feeling her, feeling her pain of you know, trying to conceive and she couldn't. So, but for some reason, this movie was dragging and I don't know. It just, I was like, okay, maybe this is not the movie I'm going to talk about in this, um, on my channel. On to the next one, Bond. I have come with stories to tell. I didn't even make it 10 minutes. I didn't even get to know the characters names to tell you how it's about these two people they've been dating for a long time and all of a sudden the guy decided to break it off with the girl and start dating one of her friends 15 to 20 minutes of this movie that I watched it was this girl begging this guy to take her back and begging her friend to leave this man alone that you know everybody already knows them now and it's just be somehow for them to come and break up so this girl was not begging this guy begging this guy the guy kept saying leave her leave him alone that he doesn't want he has found his new thing but she no agree so that whole thing and that is literally what they were doing back and forth back and forth back and forth i just stopped because it was getting on my nerves then and i went to the and i slept off because i was like iroko iroko they can't come and kill me so i was like okay maybe the one they, they will upload today will make sense so and i said you know let me chill and watch that one and I watched Prenup. Prenup is about Chinasa and Frank. So Chinasa and Frank, they met at work. And it was supposedly an instant attraction. Me personally, eh, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought that the attraction was forced. It's not not like it was forced, but the way that they kept on showing us, they, they don't want they wanted to show us that they had like sexual tension. Does it doesn't make sense? So it now seemed forced. You know there's some sexual tension that you see on screen to seem so natural but this one they wanted us to see that they had sexual tension and they had a sexual chemistry five months into their relationship he proposes then you know they move in together and you know they are starting to plan a wedding and get married we didn't see them actually planning the wedding but they said that they're about to get married so i'm going to guess that somebody was planning a wedding somewhere and prenup now came into the discussion then the lawyers now said um okay you, you guys know that you can add anything into the prenup and it's going to be binding once you guys get married and whatever people add to the prenup will be grounds for the for a divorce and she she not said did not want to so she was like nah it doesn't we don't need that but he said he wanted to she should not agree to do it then he now everything I started going haywire from there see i'm not bashing the movie storyline per se but there were a lot of scenes in this film that was not needed there were a, i can't there like I, I can't Bruh. 
I can never name them the things that were not needed because they were plenty to show you how much they were you're not seeing them adding like petty petty things to the list that okay frank is a true too loud but she must not wear face masks to bed a huge portion of this film was basically that about them adding petty 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 things to that list things that like it was see this movie I actually, actually annoyed me because I wasted my time. It was an hour and 45 minutes. Anyway, you guys, so what I'm here to tell you today is I actually did watch all three of the movies that Iroko posted through this weekend. And none of them, none of them spoke to me. Not even spoke to me. Like, none of them. I don't know what's been wrong going on with Iroko these days. Before you actually find a good one, you have to search. And search and search if you know any other sites that I can watch Nollywood movies on make sure to recommend them to me thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel thank you for liking thank you for subscribing bye <laughs>